Hey everyone, Matt here from Code Tech Tutorials, and I wanted to give you guys a little update on where the game engine is that I've been working on. Ancient Archer is what I have kind of code named it for now. And while well, last we left off, I was in code vlogs. Here we have just some core base tests. And I'm just going to do a build of the engine here. Looks like everything's up to date, but we're going to just watch how fast and see all the files by doing a rebuild. And you can see in the list here, everything is compiling all our object files. And it has completed. Now I do have an example project here that uses the library. The library is listed above there as AA Engine. So let's run this piece of software. And this example project is really just me throwing some things together to make a little first person walk around world and just to test things out. So I was working on skeletal animations for a while and I'm pretty happy with where they're at now. So I can switch him to a different animation and it seems to work okay. There is no interpolating or tweening yet so they just snap to the next one. So that is something on the to-do list is to be able to morph between these animations. Now the lighting is something that's kinda hard to see in this scene but it was it took some sorting out of the shaders and I moved to an uber shader type of deal which I will show later the IM GUI integration definitely helps a lot as far as testing things out. And don't mind that wall of cubes, we'll get to that later. Which look like a neon wall. So here are all the files in the project. We're looking at the example project here, and this is where I load in the models. The large green planes are the floor. This wall of neon cubes was that wall of neon cubes. I was just testing shaders. Uh, with the emission and making sure emission textures worked and as you can see they do but uh, I wanted to play around with this wall a little bit and I really wanted to get the physics working on them now I can hack it but it doesn't quite work right and the transforms are weird because I have different structures of matrices and quaternions and stuff going between the physics and the spatial data of my objects so I've got to work out a few kinks there before the physics work right and I'm using NVIDIA Physics API and what I've come to realize is that what I really need to do is add a proper entity component system for all these objects in my world so I'm doing some research on that now and looking at the most efficient way to do it and it looks like I'm gonna to have to restructure some of my objects and how I've been doing things but it should be a lot cleaner and better in the future because I kind of noticed as I was adding physics that this is like way more complicated than it should be and the underlying reason is probably I don't have the entity component system so I'm just gonna play around with this wall a little bit more and I'm kinda just I got a loop going to make a wall here so I'm just messing with some values and I was, uh, let's see, multiplying the X and Y. Oh, I should be multiplying something else. So it's not really doing what I expect here. I'm trying to actually get them to separate a little bit because they look like just one con continuous wall here, but actually they're individual blocks. So here I have a duh moment and realize that I should be scaling the third variable in this function, or the third input in this function and I should be reducing this this down a little bit to actually so we gotta go less than one so times 0 0.75 that's what I originally intended 
just add a one in there. And there we go. That's what we're looking for. So now when you add physics to these, it should be very obvious where they're falling. And that was where I was going here next. But um, I've already done a bit more after this. So maybe I'll update you guys again soon, but I think I have a pretty cool demo coming up. This project has moved into the private space, so I'm no longer maintaining a public repo. If you would like access to it, I'm going to put up a tier on all these things that help the channel for source code, and it's going to be a little higher than the regular supporter, but that'll get you access to all this personal source code, including this uber shader that I'm working on. Yeah, the whole internals. So the public one's still up, it just hasn't been updated in a while and I don't plan on updating it. But this one is my own little uh, personal thing going on here, so I'll do what I want with it. But yeah, that is the state of the engine and where it's at. It's still just a scripting engine where you uh, make a sub project and code it all up with C++, use the library, the AA engine library. Which I might change. I think I'm gonna change the name to like just like Archer Engine. Just drop the ancient. We'll see though. I have another variant of this project. I have so many weird side projects. Well, anyways, I have a variant of this that's CMake only, no Visual Studio uh, project. You could generate one with CMake for us, but like this one you're looking at here is all just done in Visual Studio. But if this were to be cross-platform and to have a proper installer and all that, we would want to use CMake to simplify that, or at least I would. So yeah, I made another version of this project where it's just CMake. Anyway, that's another story for another day or for another transition. But I like to have a lot of different things going on and always be uh, learning and figuring out stuff. You can't stay in one direction. I feel like you gotta explore, try different things. So I'm always kind of switching projects up as needed but I always come back to my main ones but here I want to add physics and get that simulating and I think I have to turn all that on but also I'm pretty sure that this isn't integrated right like as I'm typing this up so I was just kind of showing that hey even if we add what's currently in the engine we add those physics to each of these cubes and just hit go what happens well previously there was a version where it kind of worked but I stripped that out because it wasn't transforming correctly but I think right now it's not hooked up so there are actually physics objects in there but you just can't see them they're completely invisible and they're not changing the transforms of the prop as they would be expected but I need to do some more debugging uh, it's a lot uh, I kind of talked about it already I basically need to add an entity component system and I want to get some debug draw of these colliders which I have mostly figured out by now as well uh, but yeah we needed some kind of debug draw of the colliders to see where they're at we are going to want to make some sort of front-end interface you know like unreal or something like that or unity but basically it'd be doing the same thing it would just be attaching it to yet another front end because right now the front end is just code and personally I like the front end being only code I I don't particularly like big editors like unreal and unity and I think a lot of us that are making our own systems feel that way as well well let me know your thoughts down below drop your inspirational quotes and let me know what you're working on join the discord the ctt discord if you want to chat with other coders and me we're always uh, hanging out in there and support the channel if you would uh, like me to keep making content and want to see more tutorials I have a lot of plans but I uh, been kind of struggling with the, the motivation to make tutorials and I think a lot of you kind of get why 
but uh, I do want to do it. I actually recorded one and scrapped it. This here is the physics debugger. Where I was trying to see the physics, but uh, I guess it was so small in this world that I couldn't find it. I'm pretty sure they're out there somewhere. They're just really tiny boxes somewhere. And there's a hotkey to snap to them, but even still, I take a moment to find it here. What was I saying? I was just saying, I forget what I was saying. Oh yeah, about making tutorials. It's just that, well, I have some very painful memories of tutorials. Like, people seem to really like them, which is cool. The one that really burns me is this, the NVIDIA physics tutorial. Like, they're all that's a similar story that's like a perfect case study that video took me like like two days to make a lot of time way more time than you would think a lot of research a lot of redoing a lot of editing the video has made six dollars I've made six dollars from that <laughs> it was it really grinds me how much of a waste of time it was to do that and it just kind of blows my mind and it like just looking at the numbers just like made me sit back in my seat and go whoa what am I doing here man this is really foolish so while I'd like to make more tutorials that the reality is what I just said so I'm basically totally relying on community support to continue this for real and uh, so every supporter means a lot thank you all for those who have and yes as long as it's going I will push out stuff I will make stuff but geez I, I was really just you know doing this sort of thing is not all it's cracked up to be like some people think oh you get on YouTube uh, and, and you, you make it you get followers or whatever and like the end goal I'll ultimately is to be able to make a living doing what you love but the whole make a living thing doesn't just kind of happen. It happens to like 1% of people. And I, I think that stands pretty true. I, I'm not, you know, you get what you give kind of thing. So in a lot of ways, like me complaining about the video that I just complained about is not even valid because who knows how many people brought that brought in, who knows what that could lead to in the future. There's a lot of good things that come out of that video than just other than just the monetary value is what I'm saying but none of that other stuff like pays my rent or my bills I can't go to my <laughs> you know I can't go hey do you accept like upvotes on YouTube videos do you, do you accept thanks in the comments instead of me pay you know that doesn't work I wish it did I'm sure you guys do too because that's you know free and easy but uh and I'm basically just going on a tangent here because the video context was real boring there. I was basically just like sorting out what I'm going to do with the physics next. And I've already figured out my conclusion, which is basically to add the entity component system and integrate the NVIDIA physics more. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.